Thank you so much for your purchase of the Nanland Go board. I know you're going to really enjoy learning about FPGAs, VHDL, and Verilog with the Go board. I hope this is the best possible experience for you, the most, the easiest and most enjoyable experience you can possibly have learning about FPGAs. Hopefully these videos are going to be fun and at the right speed for, for your learning. Um, I just wanted to walk through a few things about the Go board when you receive it so that you can make sure things are running smoothly on your, on your own personal board before you get started. So when you first receive the Go board, it looks, well, looks like this. You can plug it in with a micro USB cable. And as soon as you plug it in, the power light should come on. That means that the power voltages are up and running correctly. And I preloaded every single Go board with um, some FPGA code already, just to test out some of the features on the board and convince you that your board shipped safely and arrived correctly with nothing broken. So for example, if you push all the switches, the LEDs should be illuminating for every single switch that you push. And when you push switch one, the seven segment displays run through a little test that I wrote, which just illuminates every single segment. So that should convince you that the LEDs and the switches are working correctly, but there's more functionality to test. Uh, there's also the UART communication, which is basically the communication to, back to the computer, which run through this cable here. Um, so we're going to test that out next. And we're also going to test out the VGA display to make sure that the VGA is working as well. So for testing out the communication to the computer, we actually need to um, download some drivers for that. So if you go to uh, the link on the YouTube description, or if you just go to uh, Google and type in virtual com port drivers uh, for the for FTDI, it's actually the very first one in Google. Click that, and uh, the virtual com port drivers that you need, uh, either Windows or Linux, should be readily available there. So download those, install those, that will allow the Go board to be seen as a COM port for your computer, which is how you can talk to it over a serial emulator program. For talking to the Go board, I recommend the program TerraTerm. I like that program the best. It's free, it's easy to use, and I'll put up a link to that. It's T-E-R-A-T-E-R-M. Go ahead and grab that. It's open source too, which is nice. So you grab that, install it. And it looks like this when you open it up. Just a black screen, you can type text on it. Now you do need to set up the communication to the Go board correctly. So for that, click Setup Serial Port and select the COM port. For me, it's COM5 that the Go board is on. Um, the baud rate needs to be 11,500. You need to set eight data bits, no parity bits, one stop bit, no flow control, okay? So now, what this is actually testing is um, it's testing the communication from the computer to the Go board and from the Go board back to the computer. So if you're seeing the numbers and letters, whatever you type to be displayed in your terminal program, that means the communication to the Go board is working correctly. Now one thing you might have a problem with is that not every micro USB cable has the data lines in it. So a USB communication has power, ground, and data. Sometimes, if you're just charging a cell phone, for example, you don't need the data lines, and some micro USB cables don't actually come with data. I know, for example, that the PlayStation 4 micro USB cables don't have a data pair. It's just power and ground, because all PlayStation really says is they can save a couple cents by not running some extra wires in there, um, and you're just using it to charge the controller, so who cares? That's fine for a PlayStation 4 controller, but if you want to use that same PlayStation 4 controller cable for the Go board, you're going to have a hard time communicating. It's not going to work. So make sure that your USB cable does have the data lines in there. So once you have verified that the serial communication is working correctly, go ahead and plug in a VGA monitor to the Go board. And if I turn on my VGA display here and run through and hit the numbers 1 through 5, then I can see the VGA display toggling, which is showing that the VGA interface is working correctly. 
So now that you've verified that everything on the GoBoard is up and running smoothly, I'd like to tell you to get started on the YouTube tutorials. I hope you find them extremely useful. I've worked very hard on them, so um, please give me feedback if you like them. If there's anything I can do to improve them in the future, I'd like to know that as well. They're both in VHDL and Verilog, so you'll be able to learn whichever language you want to learn. And again, thank you so much for your purchase. Please tell your friends, your coworkers, your professor, whoever you're working with, about the Go board and spread the good news. Um, I really am excited about it, and I hope you really enjoy the work that you're doing on the Go board. So again, thank you. Mm -hmm.